Hey, good afternoon, everybody. We were at the roundtable meeting this morning and somebody asked me how to get another person's phone number. They weren't really sure what the other person's name was, just knew that they were um, from a certain city and they wanted to find out what that person's phone number was. I said that because we are all members of Mary, we could go to the member profile page and look that up. But it seems that it's a little bit different for everybody and things have changed a little bit. So I wanted to kind of go through and show you how to make sure your information is showing so that other members can find you and also show you how you find out about you know, other members' contact information. So here we are at the membership website, marymember.com. I am already logged in, as you can see up here, it says sign out. If, it, if I wasn't logged in, it would say sign in. Let me just go ahead and sign out so you can kind of see how that looks. So this is why you first go to it. It asks you to sign in. So up here in the upper right-hand corner, you can click sign in. Put in your username and password, which for whatever reason, I can't get it to save my password, but that's okay. Now I'm logged in and I want to look up my contact information. I want to find out how to find Kim Tucker. So once you're logged in, all these buttons here under my account, all of a sudden they will go somewhere. So I want to go down here and go to the members directory. This is where you can look up other members of Mary to find out how to get in touch with them. You will only be able to see what they have shared, but you can send them a message privately through the system. Now, for those of you that think, oh, now I get it. I can go send a message to every one person one at a time and send an email to everybody. Um, it doesn't work that way. The system notices when you've sent like three or four messages in a row and then it'll lock you out. So if you wanted to send a message to every member in the organization, you could probably do one a day for a while. Um, it, we have about 600 members. So in, the, in a couple of years, you could get through it and send everybody a message. But otherwise, just show up at a meeting, use a Facebook group. That's the best way to go. But what if you wanted to call a specific person about something specific? So we've logged in, we go to my account, we go to members directory. And here are all of the members in alphabetical order by last name. You could also, I'm gonna guess, you know, they won't let us sort it any other way, it's just by last name. But we don't wanna search through all this looking for Kim Tucker, so we're gonna modify our search. That's the green button right here. And I'm gonna put in Kim Tucker. Actually, let's pretend you don't know my last name at all. You just know my name is Kim. So we're going to put search. And then it pulls up all of the Kims at Mary. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that's it. The Kim that is at Casey Invest or at Mary. I'm in here twice, as you can see. And then you can click on one or the other. And right now, all it is, is showing, no information provided, just that you can send me a message. So I want to change that. I want there to be profile information there. So what I am gonna do, we're gonna go back to my account and we're gonna scroll down to here where it says my profile and I'm gonna edit my profile. Then it goes and tells us all this information. Um, I can put in basic information about myself. That's what I'm going to change is the about myself. You can say whether you're a beginning investor, a seasoned investor, or somewhere in between. If you wanted to say how many buildings you own, that would be really great information for us to have. So when we're talking to um, legislators or media, I could say Mary represents 400 units, 20 buildings, and two named complexes. So if you're in here editing this, please let us know what you own. Then I wanna make sure it's got this box click that says allow members to find me. I think by default, everybody will already have that box clicked, but I think when we edit, we can unclick that box. Now, if you have a product or service that you want to promote to other people, you can go in here, hey, I'm an accountant, click that box, or I'm a CPA, but see nothing's clicking. So how do we change that? We're gonna come all the way down here to the bottom to the green edit button. 
And then all of this is editable. So I can put in my birth date and I can put about myself. So I'm going to say uh, Kim and family buy and flip houses, rehab and flip houses, and buy and sell notes. To get on our buyers list or contact us, you can visit our website www.kcinvest.com or you can call him on her cell at 913-208-3544. That way, in my about me, I have that information. It has my website and my cell phone. I can go in and click all of these things, say how many units I own, how many buildings and complexes. Right now I own two units, but one is a flip and one is a house I live in. So I'm going to leave that vacant right now because I really don't have any rentals. Um, and I've already clicked that I'm a realtor, a note buyer, a rehabber, and a wholesaler. But if you offer other services, be sure to fill that in. Don't worry about logging to Home Depot and update your purchases accounts, yada, yada, yada. Um, but if you're trying to log into your Home Depot account, you can click there and, and update that as well. We're going to click save. All right, so now we're going to go look me up again. So we're going to go to my account, members directory. Let's hope it works. I'm doing a live video, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to look really bad, won't I? So let's say I looked up Kim Tucker. Hmm, we're still not showing anything. Did I edit the wrong person? There we go, I did, I, I picked the wrong person, but there, there's the information I added. So now my phone number and how to reach me is in there and somebody can send me a message. It also has what I do or they can grab my cell phone and give me a call. So that's how that works. I can give you a real quick rundown. Again, if you want to find someone, log into marymember.com and then you're gonna go to my account, scroll down to members directory, and then you can go through them one at a time. I guess it saves whatever the last search you had. Let's say you wanted to find, you didn't want to find me, but you wanted to find somebody that was an accountant. Now I'm going to be willing to bet our accountants in the group have not gone in and updated their information. Oh, we have a few here. I don't think that's right. So, hey, I don't think Mark Yand is an accountant. I don't know about these other folks, but these people have all marked that they are accountants. Um, what else can we mark? We could say we want our appraisers in the group. Search. These are all people that have said that they are appraisers. So I think a few people need to go in and do some updating. Um, let's try CPA. So these folks say they're CPAs. So Mark Yanda, you're really busy. Um, but I don't think you're a CPA either. So it's not 100% accurate unless the person uh, filling in the forms uh, fill them in. So if you would take the time to log in to your account, go down to my profile, edit profile, and then you can further edit and then tell us what it is that you do and you can say something about yourself so you can include a phone number and a website so people can find you. Hope that helps. Have a great day.